Me and my husband have been married for a year. We have two boys and another baby on the way. And Jeff has cheated on me before. Um, not to mention that the last relationships that I've had in the past, I've always been cheated on. So I don't trust anybody. It makes me very insecure. With me being insecure, when he's not around me, I check his location um, on my phone and I'll pick fights with him when he goes to his family's house so that he'll come home because when he comes home, that's when I feel the most secure. Not to mention we live with my parents right now. It's putting <laughs> a lot of tension on our sex life, uh, which is pretty much very quiet. And so I just wanna know what I need to do to start trusting him. Well, James, what, what, do, what do you think is going on here? You know, I gotta tell you, this is one of the hardest things a couple could ever deal with. You know, trust issues and, and, and infidelity cheating, it's, it's the number one reason why people end up in my office. You've made a decision, and the decision you made is to stay with this man after he cheated on you. And, you know, that's a tough decision, and that's the decision a lot of people try to make, and they're not successful in making, right? Right. But, you, you know, you have children with him, you have another baby on the way, so I know that you have a lot of reasons why you're going to try to work with him on it. But trust is fundamental to a marriage. You will not have a successful marriage if there is not trust there. So you have to make a conscious choice. Okay, I'm going to be able to trust him again, and you're going to have to find a way to get to that place. Now, I got to say, though, my issue is more with you, sir, and, and, and I'm not trying to pile on to you here, okay, because it takes a lot of bravery to say the things the two of you have said in this room full of people. But I got to tell you something. She shouldn't have to check up on you. You should be getting ahead of this, man. She forgave you. This woman took you back and moved forward with you and said, I love you so much that I'm going to stay with you after you betrayed me. She should never have to look at your location services. You should, you get to the office. Hey, baby, just got to the office, just wanted to say I love you. Hey, babe, just leaving the office now and heading home, just wanted to let you know I was on my way. What does that take, five seconds? He does that. She's not worth, good, all right, he does. excellent. He does. Then you know what, that's, that's yeah. even better news because that tells me he's being proactive. Yeah. So yes. if he takes those steps, this is on you, man. I gotta tell you, she's done the hard work. She's taking you back, she's trying to put it down. First of all, this guy, to come on national TV with his wife, say what he said and still be standing here, mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, that's, that's, that's made. Big time. But you should go and talk to someone. I do, I need some help. Therapy is very useful because sometimes you have to hear yourself in a, in a non-biased atmosphere say some things out loud so they can regurgitate it back to you and get your feelings on it to help you work through. Right. My producers are going to help set up therapy for you. Okay. And it won't cost you anything. Thank you. Thank you. All right, up next, what would you do when your bedroom preferences are causing conflict in your marriage? We're going to find out what's happening right after the break. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.